Rainer's room. My name is Koichi. This is second year of working after graduating from uni. I got used to my job, but I'm not good at it. My juniors have already exceeded my sales record. My personality is not suitable for competition. But it's my job, I still have to do it. How envious of them! Ah, high school lovers. Reminds me of my school days. I don't have a girlfriend nor anyone I like at the moment, but I fell in love with a girl in high school. But my best friend also loved her and I backed off. It may have something to do with the fact that I'm still a virgin. I'm so tired again. <sighs> I want to get home and cook dinner. Seriously, do they have to meet around the station? There are couples everywhere. Oh,、huh? what the hell? An elementary school age girl is sitting on the road. There is a little girl. She's sitting holding her knees facing down. Hey, it's not safe being alone somewhere like this. Where are your parents?、Uh. What does she mean by that? No parents? Is there any reason for her being here? I'm hungry. What? Oh, alright. I'm going to cook dinner. Would you like to come over? Well. No, that's not appropriate. Feels wrong to bring a little girl into my house. But from the way she was acting, I had the impression that she may have run away from home. It's from good intentions. Should be okay, shouldn't it? What do you want to do? I'm coming. Okay, then come with me. I took this strange girl home with me. I wrote her thinking it would help her, but now I'm thinking it so again. And this is not good. What I did can be seen as a kidnapping? May I ask your name? My name? It's Mitsue. Mitsue, hey. I'm Koichi. What do you feel like eating, Mitsue? Anything, thank you. Here, dig in. It's so simple, but. Thank you so much. Looks yum. She must have been so hungry. Where the hell are her parents? She ate everything served within 15 minutes. She must have felt better. She must have felt better. She started looking sleepy and soon fell asleep leaning on the couch. She seems very trusting of me. Of course, I wouldn't do anything to such a little girl. But she was desperate enough to follow a stranger to his home. She was obviously starving. A week later, I received a phone call from the authorities and was told that they located her family. I was asked to take her to an arranged meeting spot to hand her over to her parents. Mitsue, let's go home. No! Mitsue, you coming with us? You are causing this young man trouble. Now, listen to us.、Uh. That moment, I noticed that her mother's limbs were covered with bruises. What are those? Is something happened to her mother? But it can be reason to leave her like that. People here must have noticed these bruises as well. They stand out so much. Here, Mitsue, stand up. We're going. I won't. I don't want to be there. Mitsue, your mom and dad came all the way to get you. Why don't you go home? I hate you all. Ah!、Uh, out of nowhere, she hid behind me. She made it clear that she doesn't want to. I feel wrong to rip her off me and. Hand her to them. Then, 
What I can do is... Well, Mitsue doesn't want to go home at the moment for some reason. How about she stays with me a little longer? What? But it doesn't seem... She is my child! No way you can do that! I know she is. But it seems that she needs somewhere to organize her thoughts. She probably won't be able to do so going with you. After a discussion among her parents and the staff, she was allowed to stay with me until her parents sold some things out. A few days later, a shocking fact was revealed. I thought she was like 10 years old, but she was actually 15. Koichi, I very appreciate that you let me stay here. You're a lifesaver. That's a little dramatic. From what I've seen, I just thought it was not safe to let you go back to them. Please let me know if there is anything I can help with. I will. Thank you. She's still growing and needs a well-balanced diet. I thought I could use some help and call my parents. I explained the situation and they were willing to support me. And... A year has passed since she came to live with me. She's changed from the better. She is much brighter and well enough now to catch up with all study at school. Look, I got 85 points out of 100. Isn't that great? It is. Good job, Mitsue. Your score is getting higher and higher. This is all thanks to you and your parents. I mean it. Say that to them. It will make them happy. I will. She is totally different from the day she came here. She is like a whole new person, both physically and mentally. I'm so glad. Oh, your 16th birthday is coming up. Yes, it is. Do you want to have a party? Just the two of us though? Sounds great. I've never done such a thing. Right. Then it's decided. On her birthday, we celebrated her 16th. It was a small but warm party. One day, the council called me and told me that her mother is wishing to take her back. I was asked to meet her mother with Mitsue, so we headed over to an allocated cafe. I wonder if Mitsue is gonna be okay? She's going great recently at home and school. If she gets involved in any problem again... Koichi, aren't we going? Oh uh, yes, we are. Will you be okay to meet them? I will, I have you beside me. I knew it, but she's counting on me. I feel encouraged, but I'm worried. I have to be firm with them. Mitsue said that she wants to decide if she goes back or not after meeting her mother. I thought it's a good idea. When we arrived at the cafe, the council staff and her mother were already there. Mom! Mitsue? Wait, this guy. This isn't the guy she was with when I saw her. Her mother has been remarried to a new guy. I don't see any bruise anymore. Oh, uh, but she seems to be so cautious with him. Thank you for coming today. Uh, as we talked over the phone, Mitsue's mother is wishing to take Mitsue back to her home. I see. I can't hand her over just because the mother wants her. She came a long way to get over lots of things. I can't let her go back if it's not safe for her. Since we arrived, isn't the guy staring at Mitsue too much? Mitsue, you've got a nice deeds. <laughs> what? What did he just say? Is he insane?
Excuse me, take that back, would you? What? Is this the attitude of someone who is trying to be a father? It's hard to believe that you said something so indecent to your stepdaughter to be. Mitsu. Mitsu, we are leaving. <sighs> I'm sorry, but this discussion is over. She won't go back. Excuse us. I left there with her. I couldn't stand being there any longer. That night, when I was about to go into my room, Mitsue grabbed my arm. Oh? What's up? Thank you so much for today. You're so reliable. Oh, well... Uh, his attitude was way over the line. Well, would you stay with me tonight? What? Just staying beside me. She was a little shaky and I thought she was still scared from today's incident. I accepted her request. But she is already a high school girl. She is becoming sexier and sexier day by day. It's hard not to feel anything. Ah, stay calm. Go away wrong thoughts. She is still in high school. I'm just comforting her. Koichi, just a little. Can you hold me? I want to fully feel that you're here. Does she know what she's saying? Oh, wait, she must be anxious, remembering that guy. <laughs> Good night. Uh, Good night. Wow, did she just kiss me on the cheek? That night. I kept pretending to sleep, struggling to actually fall asleep. When she graduating from high school, we got married. I was so surprised when she proposed to me. Her mother never asked to have her back again, nor to see her. I'm so happy that I'm your wife. Will you be with me forever? Of course, I will! No one expected it to go this way. I'm surprised the most myself. I've been promoted to be a manager at work, and I'm so content at home and work. And sometimes I invite my colleagues to show off my adorable wife, Mitsue. My name is Yutaro. I'm a Yakuza and recently targeted by a wholesale group. That is why I moved into this city apartment to hide myself. Good morning! Hey, have a good day! I will! She is a primary school student who also lives in this old apartment. She seems to be in second grade or something. But she knows the importance of greeting and is very polite. See you later. Yeah, be careful on the way. Okay. A kid's smile has a healing power. But there is something I'm worried about. There is a fact that Eve is so skinny. I had a bad feeling about her being unhealthily skinny. A few days later. Hey, you're back. Uh, yes, I am. What's up? No, nothing. What happened? Really, it's nothing. It doesn't look like nothing at all. She's hiding something. Hey, what's your name anyway? Huh? I'm Yutaro. I'm Eve. Eve, got it. Good that I finally found out. Are you a first grade or second? I'm in the fifth. What? She's too small to be in the fifth grade. Ah! Eve, why did you go to school without asking me? I'm sorry. What were you thinking? We're going home now. She's obviously a junkie. The max is so new. Come on. Yes, mom. 
Should I say something here, or am I not in the position to intervene? There's nothing to eat today. <laughs> you must have had something nice at school. I had nothing today. The next day, hey.、Uh, good morning. You're rubbish. They are all cans of alcohol. What? You are being abused, aren't you? Where is your father? My father is gone since I was born. That's why my mom is sick. Sick? Does she mean alcoholic? So she bashed you because she is sick, does she? Don't say that. Why not? Don't say bad things about mom. She's my only family. Right. I've decided to just watch over her without saying anything. A few days later, midnight. I'm worried about Eve, but I'm an outsider. When I decided not to get involved, that happened. Stop, please! No! Stop, Mom! I'm sorry. I won't do it again. I'm sorry. Please stop. Hi. There is an incident happening next door. Did you call the police, Yutaro? <sighs> I did. I'm sorry. I said I wouldn't say anything. It's okay. This time was really. I thought it was the end. What? Mom said I'm not wanted. You are wanted. You tried your best. You're safe now. <laughs> Call me anytime if you need me. Okay. Eve's mother was arrested over child abuse, and Eve was sent to a facility. Eve, stay strong. A few days later, huh? What? Yutaro. What are you doing here? Aren't you attending school? I am. It's already finished. Oh, good. Hang on. Your home is that facility now. I just wanted to have a chat with you. This kid is so straightforward. Makes me wanna care for her. I don't have any friends at the facility. Well, only today, okay? Okay. You go back there after a little chat. I will. The next day, huh? From the window? Hey, why are you here? <laughs> Don't he 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 me! You were supposed to be at that facility. But I like it here more. Since she wasn't loved by her own parents, she may be seeking love from me. Do you want some instant noodles? Really? You go home after eating. Get it? Got it. Then, it became natural for Eve to spend more time at my place than the facility. I decided to officially be her guardian and told my boss about it too. Well, I'm the one that brought this in, so it kind of makes sense to look after her. A few years later. A few years have passed, and I became second in charge in my yakuza family, and Eve became a high school student. Yutaro, good morning. Uh, oh, is it that time already? Oh. <laughs> Jeez, doesn't she realize that now she is becoming a woman? Okay, I'm off now. Is he leaving already? He's just working, but still looks cool. <gasps> She can't bump into him. What? What? Where you are going? I'm off now. You seem busy recently. Some yakuza group have recently joined us for some reason, expanding our business, I guess. Is that so? How university going? I'm doing my best. That's good. Oh, you, 
You should stop that kind of behavior at your age. Why should I? I've gotta go now. Okay, see ya. He's got my perfume. On him, again. It's that mocking. <gasps> oh, you know. Expanding business. Good that he seems happy. <laughs> Because I was so worried that Yutalo has a very dangerous job. Haven't you located the groove that Yutalo belong to? Say something. Huh? What? Listen up if you want to read. What? The... <laughs> it is normal to help the person you love, isn't it? I forgot something. Silly you. Don't you go back to sleep. Go to uni already. I know. Ouch! What happened? Oh, nothing major. I just cut my finger. You get injuries all the time. I'm not arguing. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh no! A beautiful finger is injured now. What's up? Huh? Is there more you want to say? No. Alright. I'm going then. Oh, this is a charm I made for you! A charm? Oh, thanks! I'll be able to know where he is now, thanks to the bugging device in this charm! I'm off now! Bye! I'll protect you forever and ever! Thank you for watching till the end! I will be grateful if you could subscribe and comment!